You see it everywhere. Iron to Radiant, Sheriff to Immortal, Initiator to Radiant. Everyone's making content, trying to find the hardest challenge and overcome it in Valorant, doing the same thing over and over again. And while these challenges are impressive, they're being done by people who sit and play Valorant all day, every day. I mean, people who've already hit these ranks before. Something that is just not relatable to the other 99% of us who play this fucking game. So instead, I set out to attempt an even harder challenge. One that's never been done before. Getting to Radiant for the first time and not just playing Valorant every day while actually having a fucking life and getting in the best shape humanly possible. All right, the goals were simple. Hitting Radiant while getting down to 8% body fat, all while working full time, creating content for you guys, managing my relationships, not playing Valorant for 10 hours every day like a little gremlin, which by the way, is not fucking healthy. Essentially, I picked two things that will make me question my sanity and decided to do them simultaneously. Why you might ask? Well, because I'm fucking stupid. But nevertheless, I set out to do it and I gave it my all, knowing it could break me. Now the question is, Am I actually gonna be able to pull this off? Stay tuned for the rest of the video and you'll find out. The results might surprise you. I'm also gonna share with you all the things I learned along the way, which I think you'll benefit from and can probably relate to. In order for this challenge to be successful, I needed to come up with a plan. And for those of you who don't know, I am a kinesiologist and I've been a personal trainer for many years. So creating my custom exercise and nutrition plan was easy. And after that, all I had to do was set up a streaming schedule and then get straight to work. In the beginning, the challenge was off to a great start. I was grinding Valorant, ranking up quickly, and improving as well. I had got my account to level 20, and I placed in Plat 1. Now, getting out of Platinum wasn't very hard for me, as I am not new to Valorant, so I flew right through it. But getting through Diamond and Ascendant was a little bit trickier, mainly because I had never streamed before, so I was very nervous while I was playing, and I found that I played a lot worse on stream than I play when I'm off stream. It's so funny, whenever I play uh, on stream, I just default to crouch stream for no fucking reason I never do that oh, it's so brain dead oh. however i could only play on stream so this was just another hurdle that i would have to overcome i eventually got through diamond and hit ascendant it took me a couple months and that may seem like a long time but keep in mind i wasn't playing valorant all the time to put it into perspective for you that took me about 50 hours of rank which I played over two to three months. Cause remember, the challenge was to see if I can actually hit Radiant without losing my life to this fucking game. And side note, it also took me forever to get to level 20. I mean, God damn it, Riot, why does it have to be that hard? Anyways, while doing this, I had lost about 12 pounds already and I was starting to feel really good about my physique and how the challenge was going. However, I was nowhere near 8% body fat and I still had a really far way to go if I wanted to hit Radiant. Plus, I was already craving some fast food. This is gonna be hard. But progress was good, yet as always, when life starts to get good and things are going in your favor, the universe likes to test you and you know shit's about to get messy. And it did. I ended up getting severe directional vertigo, which affected my ability to go to the gym and play Valorant. In short, I wasn't able to exercise at all. However, I was still able to play Valorant. I was just playing like shit. I was playing so bad that I deranked all the way back down to Diamond 2. Oh, I've been playing so bad. Yes, I know. Brutal. Now, I could have just taken some time off. However, I had committed to my streaming schedule, and I wasn't going to let this one little thing get in the way of me and achieving my goals, because I was so determined to get there. I continued to grind forward anyways, and after about a month and a half, I was able to get back into the gym and start climbing in Valorant again. When I started to feel better, I ended up going on a 13 game win streak and climbed all the way back into Ascendant. This had me more excited about the challenge than I ever was before. I had overcome the adversity that life threw at me without letting it drag me down, which felt amazing. I was also getting in even better shape and I really started to feel good about my body fat percentage. My energy levels were good, my mood was good, and in turn, my gameplay was following. Push me behind, behind, behind you. No, oh, I can't do anything. Away with so we need to go. Gunning for you. One less. 
I continued this momentum up until around the six month mark. That's when things started to go drastically downhill. I had hit Immortal 1 with about 155 hours of playtime. My body fat percentage was down to around 10%. Needless to say, the challenge was going great. However, my mood, my energy, my overall drive, all of it went to shit. And I started to realize that people were really fucking good at this game. And it would be extremely hard for me to keep up if I was only playing for about 8 to 10 hours a week. Right around that time was when the rank reset hit, dropping me all the way down to Diamond 2. Fuck. 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 I was back in Diamond with the brain dead chimps, and it would take forever for me to climb back, only playing a few times a week. My energy was depleted, I was starving 24-7 due to the drastic cut in my calories for the last push down to 8% body fat. My work and my everyday life was getting to me, it started to become too much. My initial drive for the challenge was gone, and I started to question why the hell I was even doing this in the first place. Did I actually want to do it, or was I doing it because I thought I had to? Was my ego taking control and forcing me to do something I wasn't interested in anymore? Maybe I was afraid I'd look like a failure to everyone who was watching and believing in me. Maybe I was too scared to admit that the challenge and the outcome just weren't meant for me. All of these thoughts kept playing over and over again in my head, which leads us to today. The turning point in the challenge, my content, and my life. While attempting this challenge, the goal was to document everything I did throughout the day so that I could hopefully inspire you and allow you to follow suit. And in the beginning, that's exactly what I did. I was posting every single day in blog type videos for you guys to see what I was doing. But as time went by and my workload increased, my energy decreased, and my overall life started to get more stressful, I stopped posting about it completely and I lost all balance in my life and ended up being the most unhealthy I've ever been. Having to down energy drinks all day just to get the work done that I had to. Depression has entered the chat. I was absolutely miserable. All because of a stupid challenge that I set for myself something that I chose to do willingly. So what the hell was I even doing? I made this video because some of you may be going through something similar right now. Maybe you're going to school for something you're not sure you wanna do. Maybe you're working a job that you hate. You're in a relationship you're not happy with. Or you've set goals that no longer align with who you are now. And you're starting to get thoughts of doubt and contempt for what you're doing and where you are in life right now. Yet you continue to do them anyways because you think you have to. Hell, you might not have a clue on what it is you actually wanna do with your life. If this is the case, I want you to know you're not alone. It can be very scary to pivot your life in a new direction, taking a leap of faith, not knowing if it's gonna work out or not. However, at the end of the day, life is all about trying new things, giving it your all, failing, taking what you've learned, and growing as a person. So if you find yourself in a situation where you sit down and do the work you have to do or the work you think you want to do, and you feel yourself get a lot of resistance, Ask yourself, are you not doing this because you can't or are you not doing it because you don't want to? If the answer is you don't want to, then stop doing it. Don't let your ego take you down a road that isn't meant for you just because you said you would. And don't let the fear of other people stop you from doing what you actually wanna do with your life. You need to take a hard look at where you are in life and decide if it's where you wanna be. If not, take the leap to change, even though it's scary. That's what's gonna help you grow as a person and allow you to find your true purpose in life. And that's exactly what I am doing now. I am done with this challenge and I decided to take my body fat percentage to see where I got and ended up at 9%. And you know what? That's good enough for me. Maybe I didn't get as lean as I set out to, but you know what? I got pretty damn close and I realized it's just not for me. I'm not willing to sacrifice my health and my well-being for something that doesn't line up with what I truly want to do. And that is to live a happy and a balanced life while teaching you guys how to do the same. I also realized I don't only want to play Valorant. I lost all my love and my passion for this game while doing this challenge because it was all that I was playing. Play whoever the fuck you want. I don't care if we win or lose, so... Now don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna try and hit Radiant, but it's not all that I'm gonna do with my life and my channel. I don't wanna be a pro player, and I don't care to be the best at only just one game. Instead, I wanna play other games as well, and get good at them too, and help you guys out while I do it. I'm also gonna make other types of content, more exercise and lifestyle based stuff, so that we can stay in shape together and have fun playing some games. So, that's what I'll be doing from now on with my channel. Although I have failed this challenge, it served its purpose in allowing me to figure out what I actually wanna do 
and it gave me the courage to open up to everyone instead of just doing something because I think I have to or because I think it's what people are gonna wanna see. If I never attempted this challenge, I wouldn't have realized that failure isn't something you should be afraid of, rather it's something that you should embrace. At the end of the day, people are gonna love or hate you regardless of what you do, so you might as well do what you love and are truly passionate about that way, the right people will find you and you will live a healthy and fulfilling life instead of a life of misery trying to fit into shoes that don't fit. So don't be scared to try new things, hard things, things that you might even think are impossible and fail a lot. And when you fail, fail forward. Then take the lessons you've learned and use them to try new things because that is what life is all about. You never have to continue doing something that you don't want to because at the end of the day, your life is totally up to you. And if you want to learn the steps that I took in order to transform my life to the point where I could even attempt a challenge like this, go ahead and check out this video next.